Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss one more example in DFA that is a divisibility problems. So let us write the problem statement. Construct DFA which accepts all the strings over an alphabet sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 where binary integers divisible by 3 so this is a problem statement so this is a divisibility problem so we need to find the i mean we need to consider the dfa which accepts all the strings where the binary integers are divisible by 3 right see first let us uh, write the i mean strings that is a language so in this language we need to write the binary integers which are divisible by only 3 so the first one is 0 so 0 is divisible by 3 and then 3 3 can be represented as 1 1 next 6 6 can be represented as 1 1 0 next 9 so 1 0 0 1 12 1 1 0 0 15 1 1 1 1 and so on so these are the binary integers which are divisible by 3 so you can see the decimal value of this one is 0 decimal value of this one is 3 and the decimal value of this one is 6 this is 9 12 15 8, 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So these are the binary integers which are divisible by 3. So we need to construct the DFA which accepts all these strings. And you can observe here, so there is no limit for these strings. So that, that's why this is an infinite language. This is an infinite language. Now we need to construct the DFA. So before constructing the DFA, just remember, so if any number is divisible by 3, we can get a 3 reminders. So a reminder can be 0, a reminder can be 1, a reminder can be 2. For example, take uh, some 0, the decimal value, okay, decimal value. So if decimal value is 0, reminder will be 0. Decimal value is 1, reminder 1. Decimal value 2, reminder will be 2. Again, 3, reminder will be 0. 4, 1. 5, 2. 6, 0. 7, 1, 8, 2, 9, 0. So, the only possible reminders are 0, 1, 2. When a number is divisible by 3. Okay, the only possibilities are 0, 1, 2. So, simply give the three states. One represents the reminder 0, another represents the reminder 1, and another represents the reminder 2. So, let us take the three states. So, let me take this IQ0 and let it be the q1 and q2 right so simply this is for reminder 0 this is for reminder 1 and this is for reminder 2 okay three possibilities now simply go with a single number right so decimal value decimal value right decimal value 1 1 means we can we can write it sorry first first let us start with the zero zero the reminder so zero divided by three the reminder will be reminder reminder will be zero so when we got a zero the reminder should be zero so you can simply give so that means any number which is divisible by 3, if you get a reminder 0, automatically that will be divisible by 3. So you can see 0 mod 3, 0, 3 mod 
3 0 6 mod 3 0 9 mod 3 0 12 mod 3 0 that means if there is any number which is mod uh, which is divisible by 3 we will get a mod 0 so here we need to find the i mean construct the dfa where the binary integer is divisible by 0 so then this remainder 0 state will be the final state Okay, this, this will be the final state because remainder 0 means it will be divisible by 3. Now, 0. If the input symbol is 0, the remainder will be 0. See, I will write here uh, for an understanding. So, let, let us write here decimal binary remainder. Okay. Now, if, if the decimal is 0, the binary equivalent is 0. The remainder will be 0. So, if the input symbol is 0, so this is the input, okay. This is the input because input is 0 and 1, right. If the input symbol is 0, where we have to go? The remainder 0. So, the remainder 0 means this one. So, Q0 upon 0, it will remain in the same state. Now, decimal value 1, we will write 0, 1, okay. 0, 1 and the remainder is 1. So, you can see 0, 1. So, already 0 is there, 1. So, coming to 1, it move to the remainder 1. Remainder 1 means Q1. So 0, 1. 1. Right? Next, 2. 2 is represented as 1, 0. 1, 0. So you can see there is a 1. Q0 to 1. And what is the remainder here? 2. So upon 1, where it go? It should go? It should go to the remainder 2, which is nothing but Q2. So 1 and 0. Okay. Coming to 3. It is represented as 1 and 1, 1 and 1, the remainder is 0. So here there is 1, Q0 to Q1 and again from Q1, if it is 1, it, it should go to remainder 0, so remainder 0, okay, hope you understood this one. So 1 and 1 representing 0, coming to the 4, it will be 1, 0, 0 and the remainder will be 1. So you can see, just follow this one, 1, 0 and again if you get 0, the remainder will be 1. So again, it will move in this way. So 0. So 1, 0, 0. Remainder will be 1. Coming to the 5. 1, 0, 1. Remainder will be 2. So 1, 0, 1. If it is 1, remainder 2. So remainder 2. So it will be in the self loop. In the same state. And if it is 6, it is 1, 1, 0. And 0 is the remainder. 1, 1, 0 is the representation for 6. So 1, Okay, 1, 1, 0, right, hope you understood, 1, if Q0 to 1, it moves to Q1, Q1 to 1, it moves to Q0, and Q0 to 0, it moves to Q0 itself, it's a R0, right, this is satisfied. Now, let us check whether it is a complete DFA or not, whether it is a complete DFA or not. So, Q0 is having the transition with 0 and 1, right, Q1 is having the transition with 1 and 0. 1 and 0, right? And Q2 is having the transition with 0 and 1. Yes. So, this is a complete DFA and this is the DFA for accepting all the strings where the binary digits are divisible by 3. For example, let us consider, see, let us consider 21 as a decimal. 21 as a decimal. So, 21 is divisible by 3. So, give the binary equivalent. So, binary equivalent will, will be 16, 0, 4, 0, 1. I think this one is a binary equivalent. So, if you observe here, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 1, 21. So, this is a 21. And if you, so if, they, if you hear the remainder will be 0. So, at the end, the state should be Q0. You can observe here, if you process this one, it should accept it. So, Q0 is the initial state. Q0 is the initial state. And Q0 upon 1, it will move to Q1. Q1 on 0, it will move to Q2. Q2 on 1, Q2 on 1, it will move in the same state. And Q2 on 0, Q2 on 0, Q2 on 0, it will go to the Q1. And Q1 on 1, it will move to the Q0, which is the final state, which is the final state. Hope you understood this one, right? So this is how we can use the, I mean, we can construct the DFA 
for the divisibility problem so any divisibility you have to uh, execute the same thing same procedure right so i will tell you with a one more example and i will wind up right so now let us take the divisibility of 4 so you can practice with the more numbers divisible by 5 or 6 or 7 you can practice so divisibility of 4 so if it is divisibility of 4 so the remainders can be 0 1 2 3 so let it be q0 q1 q2 q3 right and see divisible by 4 means if it is reminder 0 automatically this will be the end state so now write down the language so you can see so 0 will be the divisible by divisibility by 4 and next 1 0 0 is divisible and 8 that means 3 zeros 12 2 zeros 16 and so on so this is also infinite language so you can see the binary equivalent of 0 0 the binary equivalent of 1 0 0 is a 4 which is divisible by 4 the binary equivalent of 1 0 0 0 will be 8 which is divisible by 4 and 1 1 0 0 binary equivalent is 12 which is also divisible by 4 and 1 followed by 4 zeros the binary equivalent is 16 which is again divisible by 4 right so we need to construct the dfa which accepts all these things now so let us consider the same procedure so the decimal value the binary equivalent and the reminder so from where from uh, i mean to which state it should move on so first one is zero which is which is represented as zero and the reminder will be zero so there will be a self loop with a zero there will be a self loop with zero now one one means zero one which is one state okay the reminder is one so 0 1 so 0 1 we just go to the remainder 1 2 1 0 which is again 2 will be the remainder so 1 0 so 1 0 so if it is 0 it should go to the remainder 2 3 1 1 and 3 will be the remainder so you can observe here 1 1 1 and again if you get 1 it should go to the remainder if it is 1 next 4 4 is nothing but 1 0 0 with a reminder 0 so you can observe here 1 okay so 1 0 and again 0 so just move to here itself 0 okay now 5 so 1 0 1 which is nothing but again 1 so 1 0 sorry 1 0 and again 1 okay 1 0 again we have to go with the 1 so that reminder 1 so it will move here itself 1 so 6 1 1 0 which is the remainder of 2 so 1 1 0 so just move here 0 7 1 1 1 which is nothing but reminder 3 so 1 1 1 so self loop right because reminder 3 here again 8 it is 1 0 0 0 which is reminder 0 1 0 0 0 right 8 now you can observe here whether it is complete dfa or not so q0 is having the transition on 0 and 1 q1 is having a transition on 0 and 1 q2 is having a transition on 0 and 1 and q3 is having a transition on 0 and 1 so each and every transition each and every state is having one transition among one input symbol so this is the complete dfa which where all the binary strings are divisible by 4 so this is a complete dfa and let us take an example if you take this one or or simply the next one is 20 so let us take 20 the decimal value will be uh, 16 that is 1 0 1 0 0 okay so let us see whether this string is accepted or not because this is divisible by 4 so let us take 1 0 1 0 
zero. So start with the Q naught. So Q naught on one. Okay, Q naught on one. It moves to Q one. Q one on zero. Q one on zero. Q one on zero. It moves to Q two. Q two on one. Q two on one. It moves to Q one. Q one on zero. Q one on zero. It moves to Q two. Again, Q two on zero. It moves to Q naught, which is the final state. So this thing is accepted. So that implies. So this is the complete DFA which accepts all the binary, uh, all the strings where the binary integers are divisible by four. So you can follow the same procedure to find the divisibility problem with any number, right? So hope you understood this simple procedure. So just practice for the different numbers so that you will be understanding the procedure well, right? So uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.